Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans. Got a tidbit for you. We have a new manager. But before I get into that, I want to remind everybody that, hey, I predicted the World Series would be won by the Dodgers and in six games, and it was. So let's get on to the topic of the White Sox and their new hiring of an old manager that we used to have from 1979 to 1986. I'm talking, of course, about Tony La Russa. How would you like to manage the Indians this year? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This is a chance to manage in the big leagues. Let me think it over, will you, Charlie? So, yes, apparently Tony La Russa will be the new manager of the White Sox. I don't know at the time of this recording of this video whether he will have other responsibilities, whether he will be, I don't know, co-general manager and manager on the field, but apparently the White Sox have hired him to manage the baseball team on the field. So now here you see I've got uh, his career statistics as a manager. 5,097 games managed, 2,728 wins, 2,365 losses. He's won three world championships, uh, two with the A's I believe and one with the Cardinals. And uh, he was, as I said, he was with the White Sox from 1979 to 1986. You may remember that. I certainly do. Um, and he was also the manager of the year in, uh, for the, in the AL in 1983, 1988, and 1992. And he was the manager of the year in the NL for the Cardinals in 2002. So, yes, very impressive career. However... He will be 76 years old. I still would have rather had A.J. Hinch um, or someone younger with credentials similar to this or that type of a person but in a younger body is really what I'm saying. So we will see how the older um, getting on in years version of Tony La Russa is. Certainly the one we had the first time was very good um, and no, most notably in 1983 he got them, he won the uh, AL West and he got them obviously to the playoffs. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game that year but lost to the Baltimore Orioles um, in the ALCS so um, that didn't go all that well um, but we'll see what he can do with the White Sox with this new improved White Sox team that we have so I am kind of I mean I'm trying to be optimistic about this I think one thing I do like about this hire over getting a younger guy is it's very likely that the organization will let him manage the way he wants to manage. I don't think, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he knows about analytics and he probably used it some. In fact, he was one of the pioneers in analytics himself. I mean, he experimented with having a starter only pitch two innings and then bring in a relief pitcher. Um, and I think he was one of the guys that was on the forefront of the closer. Although you could, you know, debate whether that's really the way that the clo closer is used by most managers is really the best way to use it or, or not. But... So he was an innovator, and I do think that the organization will let him manage the team the way he wants to manage the team. That's good, because we don't want a puppet. 
like I get the impression that some managers like Aaron Boone are I get the, you know with Aaron Boone you get the impression that the Yankees front office tells him this is going to be the lineup tonight this is going to be you know based on analytics and how they do and how they have faced that certain pitcher or pitchers like that pitcher you know that kind of thing so they tell him like what the lineup is going to be they tell him um, you know, they give him guidelines for when to relieve um, starters and bring in relief and, you know, that type of thing. You get that impression, I mean, at least I did. And you get the impression that a lot of organizations are doing that with younger managers, whereas they're not likely to do it with Tony La Russa. I'm sure that in his interviews for the job, he probably made it clear, I'm going to manage the team the way I see fit to manage the team. So... I think that that's an upside for him and for hi having hired him. But I'm just not sure at 76 years old. I don't know. We're going to have to find out, and we certainly will. But what do you guys think of the uh, White Sox jumping the gun and going right to LaRue? I mean, I think they got impatient. I, I think they didn't want to wait and go through the interview process with A.J. Hinch or maybe Cora or... Um, uh, well, well, they wouldn't do any untested people, so um, I don't know who else they might have considered, but um, I don't think they wanted to wait. I think they had interviewed LaRue, so they liked what they heard, and they decided to hire him. So what do you guys think? you think this is a good hire? Do you think we're in good hands? Do you think this means um, a world championship for us in the next year or two? Time will tell. I mean, I'm much happier with La Russa than Renteria, that's for sure. Um, but I just think they could have done better. Um, but we will see. And that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.